Right, so, recently I've been seeing loads of videos of Conor McGregor. This is mainly due to the fact that he's got a fight coming up against Donald Carone. But one thing I noticed was how much he's bulked up recently. So that's one big reason why I wanted to give this Irishman's diet and training plan a go for a day. So without further ado, here's eating and training like Conor McGregor for a day. So the first stop the night before the challenge is going to Lidl and getting all the food that he eats. Okay, so let me go over everything that we got. Strawberries, eggs, Greek yogurt, chicken breasts, cucumbers, sirloin steak. Again, sirloin because it's got less fat. Bananas, sweet potatoes, oranges, green beans. And then finally, we've got a carrot and an apple. This isn't everything. There's other stuff like rice, for example, which I already have at home, so I didn't need to buy it. But yeah, that's a good amount of what Conor McGregor has. Yeah. So now it's time to go to sleep and then we'll wake up to start the day of eating. So McGregor wakes up at about 8am and first thing he does is gets himself a bottle of water which he takes with him for 30 minutes of fasted cardio. Fasted cardio is cardiovascular training performed when the digestive system is no longer processing food. So you can do this 4-6 to six hours after eating or like McGregor the morning you wake up. Then after cardio, it's time for breakfast. One espresso, one, two, three, four eggs, strawberries, oranges, and then an apple. Okay, so meal one is complete, the fruit, the omelette, I had some water with it, and then the espresso. Let's take you to the next meal. Next we have got some Greek yogurt. This is snack number one. And then at midday, it's time for lunch. McGregor has a lot of chicken throughout the day, so I decided to just make it all at one time. That looks really good. So, we have got steak, uh, lettuce, cucumber, and a chicken breast, which is cut up. Right, let's do this now. Okay, so next we have got fruit. I'm gonna make this now. He has either fruit or nuts as a pre-workout meal. So I've got my fruit. Right. 
Crew complete. Let's get to working out. Okay, so I've got the workout here. I've never do this stuff. So first it starts with a dynamic stretching and a flexibility routine where you perform each of these exercises for one minute. Muay Thai knees, shoulder rotations, leg swings, hip curls, neck bridge. Then he goes on to doing something called static stretching which you hold each of these stretches for 30 seconds. Back roll, sit through abdominal stretch, sit back shoulder stretch, lying leg stretch, seated butterfly. Then he goes on to something called locomotion or locomotion conditioning. Again, you're probably laughing at me right now. I just have no clue what it is. Uh, this is where he does duck walks, uh, horse walks, lizard walks, and ostrich walks, which is... <laughs> What? <laughs> okay, and then finally he goes on to bodyweight circuit, which is where he performs each exercise for a minute straight, which is muscle ups, push ups, pull ups, and air squats. A couple of things I want to say before I do actually go work out. I cannot do a muscle up. I'd never have practiced it. I just can't do it. So don't expect me to be able to do it today. Also, more than three quarters of this stuff I've never done in my life exercise wise. So the form is going to be absolutely atrocious. Like, horrible <laughs> so please do not roast me in the comments down below saying how bad my form is let's get the workout <laughs> So now that the workout's done, it's time for a post-workout meal, which is a protein shake and a bowl of porridge. <sighs> okay, so the time right now is eight. We're at the final full meal of the night. And what we've got is chicken, rice, sweet potato, and green beans. Um, I actually think that he has either rice or sweet potato. I'm gonna make both of them and then have half a portion of each, so it equates to the same amount basically. But then I'm still having both of the options. All right, so yeah, let's make this meal now. Okay, so I'm currently on the way to babysitting right now. I've got the, all the I've got the meal in here. I'll show you when we get there. Right, so we have got sort of mushed up a little bit now, but this next meal is a pretty, probably his biggest meal throughout the day. Uh, so I've got myself some sweet potato, one sweet potato, chi two chicken breast fillets, green beans, and then I don't know how much rice, so there's about that much rice in it. This whole meal equates to that many calories. So yeah, let's get to eating this now. probably wondering why I've got this. Apparently, well according to this, uh, basically it says after dinner, um, you could, McGregor has beer, tequila or whiskey. Uh, we're not, it, say, it says this, we're not going to resort to Irish jokes, but McGregor definitely partakes in the occasional beer or shot. So I think this basically means that he doesn't usually have this, but on like off days and stuff, he does have it. So I decided, why not let you guys decide? So basically on my Instagram, I put up a poll asking if you think I should drink the alcohol or not drink the alcohol. And at the time of this recording, 78% of people said I should. So then I went further on and I said, should I have a glass of beer or whiskey? The reason I'm not having tequila is because we just don't have any tequila at home. So between the beer and the whiskey, 66% at the time of this recording, 66% said whiskey and 34% said beer. 
one side note is I literally never have alcohol. This is the first time I've ever had whiskey in my life. Don't take the mick in the comments for my reaction. Oh. Let's do this. Disgusting thing I think I've ever drank in my life. What? Why does he have that for fun? And then finally, after the disgusting whiskey, McGregor has a hot tea while he goes to bed.